And hello everybody and I hope everybody is okay and welcome back to Freedom Fighter. This video is going to be more of an audio type video so thank you all for tuning in and I hope you enjoy it. Tonight's video will be on bullying and especially cyberbullying. Enjoy. Ten forms of cyberbullying, exclusion, being left out from the latest technology or being pushed into buying the latest technology or being pushed out at school on social media platforms and things like that. Number two, harassment. Going on social media and constantly getting harassed and bullied. Uh, maybe also in a group of friends uh, that your child actually thinks that they're friends. They might actually be bullying on a social media group as well. This can seriously affect a child's well-being. Number three, outing. Outing is posting in personal um details online about a child's well-being or illness or learning disability or it might be different in certain ways or she might be different in social way in certain ways so big groups post it online social media without the person actually knowing uh, about it that's what outing is even reading your child's personal messages from their mobile phone can be a form of outing Cyber stalking. It can be a long thing this one and it can get into sexual grooming as well. Uh, with cyber stalking it's actually constantly harassing the actual person um, and actually bullying them in that type of form. Oh you've got ugly eyes, you've got a big fat belly and um, we could sort that out, we could take you to the gym and that type of thing. Um, Oh, oh, come and meet me tonight. We can have a beer and we can have some cigarettes and we can have some fun. That is cyber stalking. Basically talking to a youngster in an appropriate way uh, online um, as well. Number five, fraping. Fraping is when somebody logs into your child's social media account and pretends to be them and posts inappropriate messages or pictures or that type of thing. Remember, anything posted online, even if you delete it, does not mean that it is 100% gone. People could have made copies of that, that you've posted online. It will continue in a big, wide loop. Anything you post online is not 100% disappeared if you delete it. Number six, fake profiles. Anybody can come online and create a username and a password and pretend to be Joe Bloggs. You might not actually know that person. Anybody can actually contact and make a profile and you can never ever actually tra fully trace who it actually is who is behind the um, camera or behind the desk or anything like that so anybody can make a profile of uh, any kind of name and actually bully your child as well you can get around that by tracking the ip address if it does get too far dissing is the act of posting cruel information about your child online so alex you're a big fat pig and you will smell like bacon is actually dissing alex if i uh, post it online that's what that is 
It does also include posting damaging videos um, online, like if someone was having a heart attack and you filmed it. That can also be dissing as well, uh, but normally it's around the children's aspect. So if a children's actually tapping his nose or rubbing his nose and he can't actually help it, or she can't help it if she plays with your hair or things like that, and you actually post it online, that's also dissing. Number eight, trickery. That's gaining a person's trust so you can get their secrets. Uh, like I've been in jail 690 times uh, for this a crime. Uh, and you go out and post it online that's tricking the person uh, to tell you that uh, part of his life and you're actually tricking him to get that information so you can share that information with another party number nine trolling that's deliberately posting something on social media sites like youtube facebook twitter to try and get the person that's running that particular channel or running that particular uh, facebook page to answer you back and cause a deliberate argument number 10 catfishing that's uh, deliberately taking somebody else's platform and making a double of it so if i had a platform called jimmy mcdonald's one two three and you copy my platform uh, and made your own jimmy mcdonald's one two three you are actually catfishing my platform to actually cause bullying harm harassment and distress to the person you're doing it to this is a hate crime it is also a public order offense because you are causing harm harassment and distress to that person and their families you have to be very 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 careful in uh, cyberbullying anybody or trolling anybody because it is a criminal offense And hello everybody and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed tonight's little uh, production on bullying and cyberbullying. Let's all be friends in this community people. There's too much bullying that happens in society. Let's change that and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.